Okay, so I put up the review of this unit, or rather the unboxing is more the case. Um, I don't know, two years ago now? Uh, it gets a lot of comments, even recently, by people who seem to know way more about this stuff than I do. And if you rem I don't know if you remember, but in, I, one of the problems I had was it was collecting water in the back, so I drilled a little hole, a quarter inch hole underneath to let it drain. And people kept telling me you shouldn't do that because it needs the water to flap up against the uh, coils. I don't see any mechanism to make that happen. But I, what I do notice is the fan motor, which is just behind the grill work there, so I mean it's not like it's in the back, it's in the front, would pick up water and fling it into the building. So that can't be right. Uh, anyway, so it's going now. It's about 96, uh, I shouldn't say that, it's probably about 94 degrees outside and really humid and um, if I can get this to sit oops sorry <laughs> if I can get this to stay in one spot so that's the temperature right now um, in fact it might actually be off let me knock temperature down a couple degrees yeah there we go now it's on or no, did it kick off? It kicked off. And I'll have to wait for it to kick back in. Okay, so after oops, so after about an hour, just an update, after about an hour of running with the uh, compressor on, it is down to where it should be. So not the garage is pretty darn close to where I want it. So uh you know. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that in hovering between fifty Three and 54 it should probably be around 52 but I'll take it given how hot it is outside it's pretty close to 94 degrees and it's still steamy so anyway that's, that's about it okay so a little later in the day but you can see see the water and it's dripping from both ends the hole I drilled is over there not here where it's stripping. I mean, it's stripping in both spots. But, so, I think I got it. 